because I'm going to give you time today to finish your posters, and then I'm going to have each group get up and give a little presentation of their law. You're going to have a chance to listen to all the other groups give their presentations, so that if, like, if you were the in charge of learning the first law, you're going to learn today from your neighbors about the second law and the third law. Okay, and then I'm. At the end of class, I'll also, if we have time left over, we'll start this in class. That I have a quiz about like being able to do the calculations mm -hmm. in physics, but I'll also let you take it home because there's not going to be enough time in class today since it's a short day. Or Jaden, did you guys have yeah. something that you wanted in other ideas? Oh uh, no, the, the two force field force pairs. They have to be equal for an object to stay stationary. Oh, okay. So that's like a rule. Yeah. That, so can, I write it? Tell, can you give me an example? Like, if I, I sit a pen on the table, then it's pushing down with the gravity, how much it weighs. Oh, and yeah. the table is pushing up with the same force. It's just holding it up. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And they, you're saying that the rule is that for that to be standing still, they have to be equal? Yeah. So, like, what if the table was pushing twice as hard as the gravity? Did it might go, like, down the bed. It would, like, push the pen up? Yeah. Okay. I them in charge. I think... Representing the So, I think that, Samson, you should put your idea on there, but, Jane, I think you should put your rule on there, too. Because I think both of those are good other ideas but, to add. Oh, I, I think we should put that, Jane, that they have the math. As the math? Because, because it sounds like, kind of like a rule. Yeah, yeah okay, like that's fine. Reaction plus or the little equal sign. Reaction oh. equal and then action and then yeah. put equal stationary something. Yeah. The word I, think I don't know though. Are they, Jaden? Are in your rule where you were saying like that this has to be gravity with the same force as the table pushing up? Mm -hmm. Like if the if this is five newtons of gravity, is it five newtons of table? I mean, will you just your rule was that they're equal? Yeah. Would it would they both be positive five? No. So why not? Oh, the pen. I think it would be negative, the gravity, and the table might be positive. How come? Because the pen is trying to go down, and the table is working against it. Oh, so you're saying that maybe the positive and the negative is like a way of saying that they're working against each other? Yeah. Okay. So, in your math, how would you show this idea of working against each other. Like you'd, I like the idea of the equal sign showing that the down and the up are equal, but how would you show that they're opposite? Like when Jaden said negative five and mm. five? Yeah, that sounds like math to me. Your rule sounds like math. So I think that's a, you could put Samson's idea in other ideas and then Jaden's rule, but with Clayton's idea of representing it with the equals and the negative, I think you can put that in your math part of your poster. Do you have any ideas in there that you still don't quite get? Because you, I see that you guys have a lot of you have a lot of new words like inertia and uniform stuff like that. Are there any words that you don't get or ideas that you don't quite get yet? Yeah, what math is involved in it? Mm. Math? Because mm. it doesn't say anything about any formulas. Okay, so you feel like so far maybe your law doesn't have any math? Yeah. Based on the info we have right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe, um, Bradley, what do you, how do you think you could represent something like at rest mathematically? Zero. Zero what? I mean, zeros of what? I don't know. I mean, what, is, what do you think at rest is? Okay. So, like, what is it about at rest and moving? 
it's different. Yeah. If you could measure it, what would be different about it? Oh, yeah. well, you measured its speed. So it was at rest, it'd be going at zero um, miles per hour or something. Mm -hmm. And then maybe if you drop it, it goes at like 100 miles per hour. Or if, like, if you have it at rest like that, and then you come and add a force. Yeah. Then it would be moving like a meter per second or something. So if you wanted to represent at rest mathematically, what is it that you like? You said zero earlier. What's the zero? Zero stands for that's not moving at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right and you said like miles per hour. So that's speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when something comes and changes the force comes along and changes it what's it do like what's it changing about the object the speed is going uh, so that sounds like you might be able to come up with a way to represent that idea as math even though it's not really a formula okay so Bradley now has some ideas about what you can put for the math. That you, isn't a formula. It's not really a formula, but it's a way of representing an idea of using math. Mm -hmm. I need a black. Um, when the ball is at rest, you want to try it? I call it to do the Yeah, so you can be on the side. So yeah, tell Shauna your idea that you're going to write down. Uh, well, there wasn't any formula to finding it, but uh, what was wrong to me was how you can represent the first law using math, and um, at rest, you can represent, represent it with zero because it's not moving at all, so it's not moving at like meters per second or something. And when it's moving, you can represent it by a higher number than zero. Does that make sense? Yeah. For like explaining the difference between at rest and in motion? It's about the like the speed that yeah. the thing is moving at. Is there anything that you're still kind of confused about with your law? You have a really important law. The second law is a big deal. So, is there anything that you're? I mean, I think all the laws work together, but this is the one that um, that without it you can that people use a lot because of the mathematics that I see Helena over there decorating. Mm -hmm. Those mathematical ideas, people use that a lot in physics. So do you guys have any questions about something that's maybe still confusing to you, or do you feel like that you're pretty much experts? I think I'm much experts. Um, pretty much experts. Are there any words or ideas that are still confusing to you, like vocabulary kind of stuff that you might be stuck on? Wait, what is it called again when like, when like, um, like, there's like a bridge? Say, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna do an example. Oh, that is some weird um, but you do that. Where's mine? Okay, here's mine, and then like in here, I drew a picture of this. This was in the thing, in the reading, and like there's both like forces pulling, but it yeah. stays at zero. Here, so. so what are you asking? Like, what's like, the name for staying at zero? Yeah, here, good job. Like when you have two equal either. forces, like what is that? Is there something that describes that when there's two equal forces and it's not going anywhere? But they're equal, but they're pulling it in different directions. Yeah. So you can. We're just pulling this way. We're pulling that way. There's not really a name for that, but I think you could just explain it the way you just did to me, where it's like you're saying that they have like the same newtons, right? But that they're going in opposite directions, so the brick doesn't move. That's what you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. the, only, the only thing I can think of, Destiny, is that this, when the brick doesn't move, it's at rest. Oh, yeah. When you say that phrase, at rest. Yeah, because like it's not falling down, so gravity is still at it. Right, so there's, if you were drawing the table, you would have to represent the weight and the normal force. Remember when we did that? Uh -huh. That the normal force is the table, preventing it from falling down. Mm -hmm. The main thing like that we thought that this section was about is like that like 
like you need force in order to accelerate and like the amount of force that yeah. you give depends on the mass of the object. Yeah, and like, so like to to the more massive, the more it just You got it. Yep, you guys sound like experts to me. Uh, do you just want to draw the other picture? Because I think we have like, we have like three more minutes. Yeah. Is that all? Oh, all right. All right. Okay. Good job, guys. Thank you. So the things that you're going to be listening for in the other group's presentation are the same like categories as what you had in your project. So you'll be listening for how the group summarizes the main idea. So like that might be where they do the concept, or it might be their headline. Okay, so you're listening for like what's the main idea about this law. You're listening for a good example from them. You're listening for any new vocabulary, or maybe it's a new mathematical idea that you didn't know before. You might not need to write down every bit of vocabulary because it might not be new to you. Like if you already understand the word inertia, you might not need to write it down. Okay. And then, you're listening to them, to the groups explain their idea about how their law might be important for understanding the rollerbladers. Okay, so those are the four pieces of notes that you're trying to take down while you're listening to the group. And just like when we did this in the summer, like you don't have to copy their poster word for word. We'll put the poster up. But what you're trying to do is like just get enough notes down on your paper so that you can do your homework. Okay. okay. And you can ask them questions at the end of their presentation. Jill. So, like, this thing over here, like, the main, like, stuff and all that goes over here. Will be important for you. So, do you understand what you're going to be doing as a member of the audience? Listening. And taking and notes taking on these four things. Okay. So, can I please have the Newton's First Law of Motion group? And I'll hold your poster. All right. So, who would like to begin? Oh, okay. So, but Brad, don't don't block your audience. Okay. Um, our law is Newton's first law of motion, and our headline is inertia: the thing to know about. And um, the concept of this law is um, an object at um, rest stays at rest, and an object at motion stays in motion unless a force changes it. And um, some terms are inertia, a property of matter by which yeah. it remains at rest or in uniform of motion in the same straight line unless acted upon by an external force. B, an analogous property of other physical quanti quantities as electricity. Okay, I have a question. That was a lot of words. Yeah, can you paraphrase can you, that? Yeah, what Juan said. Can you paraphrase that? Like, um, or maybe other members of your team. Like, what What was that? Like, um, it's like the law. Like, the first law is kind of like it, but like, a lot, like, um, like, a law keeps moving, and unless, like, somebody touches it or moves it around, that's Oh, that's what it means by external force, is somebody touching it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or some other thing influencing it, like when the... Yeah. Like what? Um, Besides people touching the moving object. You could try the wind. Oh, so air could be an external force? What else? Uh, water. Okay, so like you... Like we're swimming through water and you stopped kicking, the water would stop you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What else? What about like? Ice. If you, ice. I, what do you mean? Like ice. Like, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's yeah, um, our example was a ball, the, um, Galileo, Galileo. Yeah, Galileo, um, he did this experiment, 
and um, he rolled a ball on a rubber mat, and then he learned that um, if like if they curve the mat, then the ball would bounce, and then they it come back. But like if like they like, and then he also found out that if the mat had no curve, then the ball would keep on moving in a straight line. Oh, yeah. um, so Sorry, one can't see it. Okay, go ahead. So, like, so, uh, like, if the if the ball hits the wall, or is that a wall or it's a, a mat? rubber mat? It's curved. Would it keep on going forever? Like back and forth? No, like keep on going forever. On the bottom one? Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, um, it wouldn't like keep on moving forever, but then like it would keep on moving instead of just like stopping to bounce up like in this one. Why wouldn't it keep going forever? Because of friction, mm -hmm. and then there's gravity, and so it slows it down. So is friction another kind of external force? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if what if we could live in a universe that doesn't have friction? Um, then we all. So then it really would go forever, forever? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, like what you're saying, um, because the friction, the ball can't go forever because it lo loses like momentum and force. Yeah. Oh, and the explaining the motion, like for example, if it's the skater down the hallway and roller blades, it, um, the skater would go on forever in a straight line unless it changes its direction and like the motion. So what does the skater have to do to change their direction and motion according to this law? They, they have to like um, either stop or like they have to like turn. Yeah. So how do they make themselves do that? They move themselves. Move their legs. So how could you Say more about that that's an external force. And like moving, putting your leg, like if you're moving your leg and then like you're skating, that's an external force because it's something, external means something like on the outside and like force is something that can like move something from the outside. So like um, skating would be like, I mean like turning around would be like the leg and then you're like, just like walking mm -hmm. and then like the, it would either stop or like the skater could keep going on and it would stop without the skater doing anything because of the friction. Okay, so the friction could be an external force, or it sounds like you're saying that pushing your foot in another direction would be an external force that would change the movement. Okay, anything else off your posture that you guys want to explain? Well, yeah. Oh, oh the math? math? Yeah, okay. the math involved with this is one. When the item is at rest, you, re you could represent it with a zero since it's not moving at all. That zero represents its speed. When it's moving, you could represent it with a number other than zero, like one, two, or three, etc. And yeah. Thanks. Does anybody have questions about this one?